Hi, I'm Emma, the co-founder of the Tartan Blanket Co. And I'm going to talk you through the process that goes into making our pretty amazing recycled blankets. This is one of our blankets here. And they combine all the amazing properties of wool. And they're warm, they're hyperallergenic, they're breathable, they're natural. And there's so many amazing properties of wool. And, but also, these are super sustainable. And I'd say they're probably the most sustainable wool blankets you can find. They actually are made in India and they take old garments and they break them down and then they reweave them into these amazing new super warm blankets. We're super proud of them, both from the process that goes into them and then the final product and the amazing quality that comes out. So let me tell you a bit more about them. It starts off in India, which is um, the textile recycling capital. So thousands of tons of textiles are imported into India like every day. Um, and it's crazy to see that, like to see the amount of textiles that are over there. Um, and we take those textiles that are unwanted, would go into landfill um, and we break them down and create these amazing blankets. So to start the process off, we get all the old textiles, so old jumpers, old socks. These are sorted out, so they're sorted out by fibre, so the different types of fibre. We use woolen um, products, so they remove all the embellishments, they sort them into colours. So then they wash them, they leave them to dry in the Indian sun, and it's amazing to see all these um, clothes out there drying, getting ready um, to be turned into fibres. After everything's washed, we start the dyeing process. So some of the colours, like blacks, greys, whites, don't actually need to have any dye added, they can just be left as is. Um, but some of the other colours, like blues, you'll get different shades. Um, so these are combined, then we use dyes um, to get the right shade of blue that we want. Um, and then they are washed in water and vegetable oil, which then helps break down the fibres then they are ready to be turned from a garment back into a fibre. So this process, they use these big machines with big teeth and they just break up all of these garments back into what they originally were, which is fibre like this. Um, so this is super soft, it's taking it right back to the basic fibre. So after you get this amazing natural fibre, um, they're actually quite short. So the fibres have been broken down to the point where they're actually quite broken um, and that means that they're not as long as they would be if they came straight off the sheep. Um, so we have to do another process before they're ready to turn into yarn, ready for weaving. We combine it with some man-made fibres. So these man-made fibres are also recycled. Um, so we like to use 100% recycled materials, um, but the man-made fibres might have come from other garments and make them ready to be turned into yarn, making the blankets much more durable and weavable. So then we take the combined fibres and, and we put them through the carding machine. And the carding machine will smooth out all the fibres and they'll lengthen them um, so you'll get a much longer, smoother um, yarn. And then once they get into the spinning machine, we get our yarn ready for the loom, which is just like the yarn that you would get when you take wool from directly from sheep, um, except ours is 100% recycled. And then you get it ready to then go onto the weaving machine. So um, just like this. Um, and then they are ready to weave up into our amazing blankets. And then you end up with a blanket like this. It's really tightly woven, so it's super durable. Um, and then it also makes sure that the fibers won't break. Most blankets use, um, most mills will use a machine to finish off their blankets. But actually we do it in a really traditional way where in India they are hand rolled um, by a community of women who specialise in that. And although they could be done on machines, we support our partners who want to support that community and continuing them, them to be hand rolled and supporting a bigger workforce. And so we're super proud that even though they have all these little imperfections, we feel like that makes them more perfect because then they're actually supporting a better cause. And that's really what we're about when we create all of our blankets and our scarves, and both in our, the recycled ones in India and also in, in Mongolia, um, where they use natural farming methods and they support a farming community over there. We want to make sure that we're supporting both the planet, making them as sustain sustainably as we can, and also the peoples of supporting communities in these areas. Yeah, hope you like them as much as we do.